So mga ka web 3, napakaswerte ko naman talaga nga naman sobrang dami kong nakikilalang mga kilalang tao, napakasikat. Ito na isa sa ating mga speakers. My name is John Kraski. I am Director of Strategic Partnerships for Landball. We're one of the world's largest metaverse builders. You actually previously spoke to my CEO Sam Huber a few weeks ago. We just opened an office here in Dubai, so I live here now in Dubai. And it's always been a dream of, me, of mine to be on Web3 TV. So super honored to be on Web3 TV. Let's talk about AI. Yeah, let's talk about AI. Everybody's talking about AI these days, right? It's the hot new thing. I think AI is interesting, but it's not going to replace humans. I think, I think, especially in content creation, AI should never be leveraged. I really don't think it should be. I think real content creators need to be speaking from the heart, creating their own content, not leveraging computers and all that. Because you see so much content now on platforms like LinkedIn, where you can tell a robot did it. And how interesting is that? It's boring. I mean, it's boring. It's boring. Ayon yun ng AI guys, mas gusto niyo parin yung human nature. Oh, human nature speaking. Okay. I mean, come on, like, what, like, do you want to be replaced by a robot? You're way more fun than a, than an AI robot. I mean, come on. What are some AI assisted apps or programs have you used? And uh, I'll, yeah, I'll, all I've used is ChatGPT, like most people. And I will say that it was easy to sign up for ChatGPT. You just basically give your Google email address, and then it looks like kind of Google search. So it was easy to use. I've used it. It's it's kind of interesting, but it's kind of boring. I mean, it seems like when it spits out the information, it reads like an encyclopedia. It's it's not that interesting to me. So for me, I I still don't see how that's going to really apply to my day to day life yet. But I think as it gets more sophisticated, and as the prompts get better, and the technology gets better, then I think maybe it'll have a use for my life. But right now, no. I, I just like I'm not using it on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Do you think AI can solve problems you of humans cannot? Uh, I mean, I think it can solve problems quicker. So I think humans are still like because remember, humans kind of programmed it. So I just think it can do it quicker. So. Um, but again, there's like a lot of ethical issues. There's a lot of regulation that needs to happen. I don't know. I think it's I think it's evolving a little too quick. So I think we got to step back because if it gets too smart, it's going to replace us. I think it's going to be part of our lives, but I think hopefully it's going to be a useful tool for us humans. I mean, I feel like AI is starting to already like replace jobs, and that's interesting. But it's also starting to create jobs. So I, I think it's still early. It's still too early. Uh, Again, I think the technology is moving way too fast, so we need to take a step back and really figure out how this is going to improve our lives and make it better. Because at the end of the day, that's what technology should do. It should reduce the amount of time that we're working as humans so we can ha spend more time doing fun stuff like this, interviewing with you, hanging out with all these amazing people at the NAS Summit. I mean, that's what it's all about. Technology should be leveraged so that humans can spend more time hanging out with other humans, doing fun human stuff. Any piece of advice for our Filipino friends who's not familiar about Web3? Uh, Web3 is the future of the internet. It is going to impact your lives in a meaningful way. I think the biggest thing that Web3 is going to do is allow people that are creating content to, opt to optimize and monetize that in, in, in a, a more meaningful way than is happening now. So I think like stay tuned, be patient. It's going to slowly start to integrate into your life. But I think the best Web3 applications are going to be the ones where you don't even know you're in Web3. And that's the key because I don't remember ever knowing about Web1 and Web2. Do you? I mean, I don't. And I mean, I'm using smartphones. I'm, you know, I, I'm watching TV. I'm listening to music being streamed. And, you know, that's like, I, I, I don't know what the technical definition. So I think we're making products that are very consumer friendly, products that are consumer friendly and just like, Seamless, that's the key. So, yes. Just follow me on LinkedIn, John, J O H N, Kraski, K R A S K I. Follow my company, Land Vault. I also have a TV show called NFT Heat. And we're also uh, doing a show now on LinkedIn called Land Vault Live in Dubai with myself and my CEO, Sam Huber, who was also a guest. So, so that's it. And thank you so much. Nice meeting you, Sir John. Nice to meet you. And, magbabalik pa ang FOMO, the future of.